This is where most of the work gets done. This is what we like to call the think tank, where observational data is collected and used to understand the current state of the atmosphere, which is then applied to understanding how the atmosphere is going to behave in the future and what the resultant weather is going to be. All of the decisions made in this area come from open and effective communication between not only a minimum of two meteorologists in the floor at all times, but also with neighboring National Weather Service offices. During severe weather or overly busy winter weather, there will be additional people working together with certain assigned responsibilities. In extreme severe weather events, we could have nearly the entire operational staff working together. All of the products that we issue are created and disseminated right here. Now we generally have a short-term person with the responsibilities of forecasting the weather for today and tonight. This person is responsible also for the aviation and fire weather products as well as radar responsibility. Well, as long as there's no severe weather occurring, at which point we would have a dedicated radar team of two to four individuals. This is the highly detailed part of the forecast where we can depict the weather into finer time resolutions and geographic areas. As the forecast moves further into the future, we also have a long-term desk. This person picks up the forecast where the short-term forecaster leaves off. These forecasts, due to greater uncertainty in the longer range portion of the forecast, become less detailed with time. But there's also more days to forecast for. This person is also responsible for preparing various graphical products, such as the weather story and a multimedia weather briefing. Finally, we have the data acquisition desk. The person manning this station collects observational data or weather that has already occurred and disseminates that information into the appropriate products. They are the primary person who answers phone calls, monitors the weather radio, and who is responsible for the release of the weather balloon and collecting its data. This person also ensures that all data coming in and going out of the office is of high quality. All three stations work closely together to solve the puzzle of weather and its evolution, which is never the same each day. All products that we create have to be consistent with one another and also have to be consistent and well collaborated with surrounding National Weather Service offices. This is so that there's one consistent forecast message being relayed to our customers. Although it requires the utilization of everyone in the office, this is the primary place where Northern Michigan's complete weather resource resides.